Hi, my name is David Dodlin, and I'm a member of the Structural Analysis of Biomedical Ontology Center, known as SABOC, here at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. NJIT ranks among top American research universities in an annual study by the Center for Measuring University Performance, and our research program is among the 25 fastest growing in the nation. The purpose of this video is to briefly introduce you to a tool our group has developed to simplify browsing and auditing of biomedical terminologies, specifically those found in the Unified Medical Language System, or UMLS. The application is called the Neighborhood Auditing Tool, or NAT for short, and is freely available online. It is designed to offer a comprehensive view of relevant data without overwhelming the user with information. The UMLS is a compilation of more than 2 million medical concepts derived from over 150 different source terminologies. Besides the concepts themselves, it also defines about 46 million relationships between various terms. These relationships can be hierarchical parent-child relationships. For example, there is a parent-child relationship between disorder of head and headache, or lateral relationships. For example, there's a has-location relationship between lung and pneumonia. The purpose of the UMLS is to provide a standard language for medicine which will support the development of health information computer systems that can effectively obtain and use information from an array of biomedical terminologies. However, as can be expected in a human-directed integration of this size, the UMLS contains a number of errors. Our group has been looking for techniques to locate these errors. We call this auditing the UMLS. This brings us back to the neighborhood auditing tool. The primary purpose of the NAT is to simplify browsing the UMLS, thus facilitating auditors in finding and correcting such errors. The NAT uses a hybrid diagram text interface which allows a user to easily browse and view the UMLS terminology. The different panels in the tool are laid out in a way to represent the relationships between concepts in a simple and intuitive manner. The center panel contains the concept currently examined by an auditor. We call this the focus concept. The parent concepts of the focus concept are displayed above and children below. Synonyms are displayed in a panel to the left and lateral relationships to the right. In the design of the net, we made the decision to try to show the user what he needs and only what he needs. We found that with uh, easier access to navigate, people are finding more errors because it's handy. I've been using the net now for several years, probably more than three. Um, I started using it uh, when I was collaborating with the group on some studies and then when it was still in uh, protege. In the net, it, all, the, all the information is literally at your fingertips um, on one big screen with the ability to refine and filter it. The tool was developed by a team of both graduate and undergraduate students from NJIT. Chris Oakes, a master's student in computer science, is currently in charge of the project. The NAT uses the latest Java technologies throughout the entire project. Uh, we use Java's Swing framework for user interfaces on our front end. Uh, at the middle, uh, where we do all the processing of data, all the retrieval of data, uh, we use Java servlets, which are web-based Java programs. And at the back end, we use an Oracle database to store all of the data for our programs, uh, such as the UMLS. We've been developing since the summer of 2006, and I've managed a total of 25 students who have worked with me on it. Um, many of them were master students with some undergraduate students. The NAT is most certainly the largest project that we've ever done, and it's also the first project that is of a quality. I wouldn't hesitate to give this to outsiders to use. It's simply a very effective tool, so if you look at the outcome of the work of an auditor in the counting how many correct errors do they find in uh, eight hours, you will get more correct errors this way. If you would like to find out more about the NAT, or download it free of charge, visit our website at nat.ngit.edu.